I'm Roxanne Stein. Kelly Dunn is on assignment. And I'm Jim Sackett. Thank you for joining us. It's uh, part of a new policy many gas stations are adopting. Taking money out of your account for gas you have not even purchased. News Channel 5's Angela Sacitano is joining us tonight from a Chevron station with a story you will see only on 5. Angela? That's right. Chevron is just one of the many gas stations confirming with me they can be taking out as much as $90 per transaction, no matter how little you spend. Carrie Rodriguez was in a rush and bought just a few gallons at this Chevron station on Dixie and 6. So imagine her surprise when she went home to check her bank account and learned much more than 10 bucks had been taken out. At that point, I realized that there was almost $100 missing in my checking account. I called my bank and asked them you know, what this charge was, and they told me that it's a, it's a hold from the gas station. Rodriguez did some checking and quickly learned what Chevron did was completely legal. In fact, many major gas stations are adopting this new policy as the recession lingers on and fuel thefts are on the rise. We want to make sure we're protected, that we get payment for that gasoline, says BP spokesperson Sarah Howell. They're taking money out of someone's account for something that they're not even getting. At the gas stations we visited today, there wasn't much of a warning. Just this sign that read, please note, a hold may be placed on your account. But it didn't say that hold could be close to $100. Corporate American at its worst. What do you mean? I mean, if you pay for $5, you, you should... You should have $5 deducted out of your bank account, not 90 There's no reason for it. The policy is now the talk of Internet websites like Ripoff Report and Yahoo, flooded with complaint blogs, some people claiming they spent as little as $2, yet had 30 times more than that frozen on their accounts. <laughs> Carrie Rodriguez learned her lesson. She'll be paying cash from now on. I think that anyone using a bank card should, you know, be very careful. The hold is apparently going to drop off after about 72 hours, maybe even within 24 hours. But beware, uh, many gas stations like the Chevron behind me could easily be freezing that much money. I am told that some banks are refunding overdraft fees just in case uh, you didn't realize that this money was coming out. So be sure to talk to your bank. Of course, the safest way to avoid this, use a PIN number, not your zip code, or just use good old cash. Live in West Palm Beach, Angela Sacitano, WPTV News Channel 5.